Hi you guys, I thought I would do a follow up video on the lip stain and how easy it is to take off. So this is gonna be my first time taking it off. Um, this is absolutely my favorite lip stain. Um, and uh, I just recently bought it at Marshalls. Um, you can check out the other video that I made about um, trying this one on for the first time. It's by a company called The, the Cream Shop or The, the Cram Shop, The Cram Shop. Uh, an LA-based um, company out in California. I don't know really anything about it. Um, so this was just basically I just picked this up at Marshalls, uh, not knowing anything about the brand. Um, but it was a clean product. It's vegan and it's cruelty free, and um, uh, it's the most amazing lip stain. So I'm actually touching my lips right now, um, and there is zero transfer. Oh, got a little under my nail, but that was from something else. I think that was from my foundation. Um, you can see nothing. I'm like touching on my lip. There's there isn't any transfer at all. It's not on my teeth. Usually that's always such an issue, right? And um, you don't need a lip liner either. It doesn't feather. It doesn't bleed into the little cracks in your lips and the lip line. If you can see. Like this is the true nature of the lip stain. Um, it's not a lipstick lip stain. Um, it's really like a true, um, like one of the, like the very first lip stains that kind of used to, that used to come out. It's basically just staining the lip with color, um, as if like, um, uh, like as if, as how does it says, like how it says it, a lip stain just stains your lips. Like as if you like it just eaten a, a lollipop or a, an ice pop and how that, that beautiful stain that's left, that's what this is. So, um, let me try taking this off for you. My battery, camera battery died, sorry. So I'm using a phone and I will uh, test this out in just a second. Okay, so here is the tissue. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a doozy trying to get off, but sorry, there's a fly in here. Oof, this is hard. All right, I'm gonna try using a little bit of, um, you can see it's kind of coming off. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of um, just face wash and see what happens. So here is some face wash. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the wash. Ah. Mm -hmm. It comes off with the face wash a little bit better. Yeah, it's not too terribly hard actually with some face wash or if you use a um, makeup like remover balm or something like that, um, it'll probably come off a lot easier. Just like, it does come off with the face wash and a little bit of water. but definitely um, you're gonna need something to help you take it off. But that's not bad, look it. It kinda, it's, it's off, it's off. Wow. All right. Oh wow, okay. I am incredibly happy with this product. I can't believe how good this lip stain is. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, there you go. It is fully off. No more lip stain. And it doesn't transfer. It doesn't get on your teeth. It doesn't get on your hands. It's not going to get on your clothes. Uh, and you do not have to wear a lip liner with it. And it is bright red. Cherry red, let me tell you. So, oh my god, I absolutely love it little test for you. It comes off with some face wash even. You don't even need a makeup remover or a makeup remover balm. You can just take it off with your like soapy face cleanser. You could probably even use just a little bit of soap to get it off. Um, you're going to need a little help though. You're going to need like a cleanser or something like that to help take it off. The tissue might not work. It might just be really hard to take it off with just a dry tissue. So a little bit of water with some, some soap or face wash comes right off.